James. James, it's just pretty magical to have you here this week, man. It's been really enjoyable. It's been a fantastic week. I, I, you know, I get paid to come here, but I would come here for free to share the stage with you <laughs> for the week, you know? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. They're still paying me, but I would do it for free if I had to. <laughs> Quick question. How many people came here tonight to see the show because you heard James was here? <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Watch your back, Taylor. <laughs> um, Lewis, we got, ama- we got amazing people on tonight. We got uh, such a-, a national treasure. Mr. Ron Howard is here this evening. Yeah. Great. Okay. Always wonderful to talk to him. What yeah. an amazing lifetime career he's got. And this is exciting for me. I don't know if you guys know, but pretty soon, I think uh, first week of September, Amazon's Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is starting. And uh, right. the star is Galadriel. And that actress portraying Galadriel is Morfid Clark. And she will be out here later this evening Woo! as well. Are you? I met her. Are you, uh, are you a fan of the Lord of the Rings? I'm sorry, what's that, Lewis? Are you a fan of the Lord of the Rings? I hear good things. Yeah. I hear good things about it. I mean to read it someday. <laughs> <laughs> um, folks, you know, if you watch the show, you know I spend a lot of my time right over there meticulously harvesting the most high-quality beeswax from local news hives, delicately separating it from the propolis and honey, grinding it with only the day's richest and boldest story pigness to craft for you the glorious Jasper John's encaustic masterpiece that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just just sometimes, folks, I jolt awake in the back room of a Yankee candle in an abandoned mall in Secaucus, fill my pockets with whatever smells like peppermint, melt the wax over an open tire fire, sprinkle in crushed-up Tic Tacs for color, and smear it across the hood of a burnt-out Pontiac Sunfire to create for you the sociopathic loner's finger-painting of the news that is my segment. Meanwhile... Meanwhile... In a Kansas prison, an inmate used hemorrhoid cream to open a hole in his jail window. That headline again, A-hole opens a hole with cream meant for a-hole. According to his former cellmate, the prisoner was able to make the hole by lighting hemorrhoid cream on fire and melting the plastic in the window. Huh. I always thought it was supposed to relieve burning. (laughs) Meanwhile... A diner discovered 100-million-year-old dinosaur footprints in the floor of a restaurant. Never a good sign. (laughs) Hey, when's the last time you cleaned these floors? Uh, I want to say the late Cretaceous. (laughs) Meanwhile, we here at Meanwhile Tactical Firearms and Organic Fruit Preserves sometimes come across so many pig-related stories, we gather them up in our Meanwhile sub-segment, Porcine Oil. (laughs) Porcine Oil. Scientists say pigs can breathe through their buttholes, and so could you. (laughs) Good news for medical research, bad news for anyone giving CPR. (laughs) I like that we blurred it. I like that we blurred it. Researchers found that by pumping oxygen and oxygenated liquid through the animal's buttholes into their intestines, they could survive without breathing through their lungs. Fantastic. (laughs) Again, science. Uh, The cancer. All cured up, I'm assuming? (laughs) We're working on this. We're all... Good. Great. Just... Just checking. Porcine oil. There's been a breakthrough in anti-aging. Scientists have revived pig organs after death. When the bodies of pigs that had been dead for an hour were hooked up to this new system, their hearts resumed beating, and limited function was restored to the animal's brains, lungs, livers, kidneys, and pancreases. I'm sure the pigs are thrilled. (laughs) Hey, you brought me back. You the same folks who were making me breathe through my butthole? (laughs) Then I'm all good with being dead, thanks. All all true stories. These are all true stories. Meanwhile, cat lovers can now try cat food-inspired dishes at Fancy Feast's Italian pop-up restaurant. (laughs) To which Taco Bell responded, Hey, wet meat is our thing. (laughs) 
The restaurant... You want to breathe through your butthole. <laughs> the restaurant, and I use that word loosely, is called Gatto Bianco, which means white cat, and it is described by Fancy Feast as an Italian-style trattoria, to which Italy responded... Why? <laughs> Why? Why did you do it? Representatives for Fancy Feast described the experience, saying, the dishes at Gatto Bianco are prepared in ways that help cat owners understand how their cats experience food, which is begrudgingly while waiting for you to die so they can eat your eyeballs. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you're watching this while also being a hot cat in Japan, I've got great news, because Japan's cats and dogs are getting wearable fans to beat the scorching heat. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a face that says, I feel so refreshed while waiting for you to die so I can eat your eyeballs. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ron Howard. <laughs> 